Hello, Kules. Welcome back to Viva Bassa and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting update. We begin with Neymar as Neymar made to train separately at PSG amid Barcelona links. He will leave the club 100% certain of, of that. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, in this episode, we are going to be talking about defender Ronald Araujo, as it has been reported that the Barca defensive mainstay will be available for Getafe clash after injury scare. We are also going to be discussing on that. So as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't turned on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. PSG seem to be the center of all the big transfer sagas this summer. After having parted ways with Lionel Messi, the French champions are set to lose two more of their bona fide superstars in Kylian Mbappe and Neymar, both of whom could be headed for Spain. With Mbappe being linked heavily now to a move to Real Madrid, Neymar could be on his way to a still favoured return to former club FC Barcelona. Indeed, there has been strong interest from both sides to complete such an operation. The Brazilian has been offering himself to the club regularly, why of late? Barca are also reciprocating the intention, with President Juan Laporta in particular keen on a reunion. Now, reports from French publication RMC Sport are claiming that PSG are ready to part ways with Neymar this summer. Indeed, the Brazilian, who has recovered from a minor knock he sustained earlier this week, was made to train separately by the club along with another exit bound star in Marco Verratti. The report further goes on to add that the Brazilian has not part, was not part of the media day where players take their official pictures for the LFP um, before the start of the new season. Meanwhile, reports in Brazil state that both Neymar and PSG are keen on parting ways this summer and as such, the 31-year-old superstar will leave the club 100%. It is said that why PSG would prefer a permanent sale, a loan exit, or even a possible contract termination by mutual agreement is being studied. As mentioned earlier, Barcelona are interested in bringing Neymar back, and why Xavi Hernandez was believed to be against the idea, he is now said to be warming up to the possibility. Finances, though, could cripple the operation due to the, which the possibility of the player signing for a Saudi Arabian club from where he can be loaned to Barca, you know, is being looked into. Either way, what appears certain is that Neymar will be on his way out of PSG this summer, so only time will tell whether a return to Barcelona materializes. Of course, it's going to be a very difficult operation, let's be honest, very difficult. Especially the reports that we just heard some few hours ago that PSG have slapped a, a, a 150 million euros transfer fee for Neymar. And I ask myself, if you are putting such a transfer fee, are you, are you saying you want to sell him or it's just a joke? Because if you actually think PSG wants to sell Neymar, they never would put such an amount in transfer fees. They know fairly well that Barca will not be able to pay. I don't know, except they are putting such a fee for the Saudi Arabian side to come and buy him because they have the endless amount of cash to splash around anyhow, anyway. You know, so if that is a difficult operation, Barca still believes that there should be a way. As I said earlier in my previous video, that Pini Zahavi, who is Menema's agent and also Lewandowski's agent, having a close relationship with Barca and Juan Laporta, He's working on the possibility of a Saudi Arabian club. We don't know which club he's talking about, but a Saudi Arabian club by Neymar and, of course, loaning him out to Barca immediately. And, of course, that would be the case. If they want to see Neymar coming to Barca, that would just be for one year something because after that one year, Neymar will return to, to the Saudi Arabian club. So... 
All this is because Barca will not be able to pay the salary. Pinis are having knows that for sure. Neymar knows that for sure that salary-wise, his former club FC Barcelona will not be able to pay. That is why they have to look on that scenario as well. But let's not forget also that you know PSG um, Neymar have been open to a salary cut if the possibility comes. If he wants to join Barca, he knows for sure that the club are in financial turmoil. Economically, Barca are draining, and that is why Neymar understands the situation and is reportedly opening to taking a pay cut if it happens that he is joining FC Barcelona. I definitely think that that will be a good good gesture from Neymar shows his love and desire to return to the club of his dreams the club where he shined the club where he made the most headlines the club where he risen to the stardom level in his career and i think that him coming to barca will make great sense because the sponsorship deals shirt sales the stadiums will also be affected positively if neymar comes to barca i think xavi should also try to reason out that and I'm happy that yesterday we got reports that Xavi is, is already opening up to the idea of Neymar joining Barcelona. Laporta have always been of the idea for the player to join. And I think he have convinced Xavi to also think of the same. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. In what comes as a massive relief, Barcelona defender Ronald Araujo will be fit and available for their 2023-24 La Liga season opener against Getafe this week, according to Mundo Deportivo, Araujo gave an injury scare last night when he was asked to be taken off just half an hour into the Juan Gamper Trophy clash against Tottenham. The centre-back pulled up for after making a powerful sprint down the right flank as he felt something on the back of his right thigh. Araujo was quickly taken off by manager Xavi Hernandez, which first team captain Sergio Roberto, replacing him at right back. Speaking after the match, Xavi had allayed any fears of an injury, stating that the 24-year-old situation was due to some discomfort. And now the report from Mundo Deportivo has reaffirmed his, this the same, claiming that Arahoko's substitution was merely done as a precaution and that the center half will be ready to face Getafe at the Coliseum Alfonso Perez Stadium on Sunday night. You know, so the defender trained normally with positive feelings during the sessions earlier today. That all signs points towards him becoming um, available for contention to feature against Getafe this weekend. This comes as a major boost for Barca, considering that the team will be without new signing in Nico Martinez at least until September. Meanwhile, Andreas Christensen is also recovering from the knock of so he sustained from preseason at the USA and his availability is not yet guaranteed. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.